Hello folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements. We're looking at four photographs I took over about a four week period in October. I wanted to show in these four photographs the leaves falling from the trees. So in the first photograph in the upper left hand corner we see the trees just starting to turn a little yellow. And then below that we see the leaves starting to fall as they become more yellow in the picture in the upper right. Now we see the leaves almost completely gone and then finally in the picture in the lower right you see the trees stripped completely bare. Now I stood on the same corner when I took each of these photos but they're not exactly lined up, right? Sometimes I pointed a little bit farther to the left, to the right, a little bit up, a little bit down. What my goal is is to overlay all these photos in Premiere Elements and then use a transition between them and create an effect something like this. I wanted to show the transition of leaves to no leaves, right? We're just going from sort of summerish to sort of winterish. Now, in order to accomplish this, of course, these pictures have to be perfectly lined up. You know, the the tree in picture one has to dissolve into the tree in picture two, and so on and so forth. To do that, what I've done is I've created a master document that I call leaves, and it's just a blank document. Uh, these, by the way, every picture and this picture are all approximately the same size. So the image size here is uh, 2500 by 1875. That'll be perfect to fit in a high definition video project. And then I'm going to drag each of these pictures into this picture. By the way, if your document that you open is not floating, remember to go to preferences here under the edit menu and select the option to allow floating documents in expert mode. Otherwise, they're all going to be locked into this grid and you won't be able to do this shortcut, which is that you just drag the pictures, drag one, drag two, drag three, and drag four. So I've got the four pictures now all in my one document, my leaves PSD. And I have, by the way, the layers turned on here so that I can see each of those four pictures, each as a separate layer in my document. Now it's a matter of lining them up perfectly. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toggle off each except for this very first layer. And I'm going to line them up here, center them here in my picture frame. And then to line up the second picture on top of it, I'm just going to turn on the second picture. And then with the layer selected, slide the opacity down to about 50%. Now I can line this picture up directly over the picture below. And that looks pretty good. We can uh, increase the opacity just a bit. And we're in pretty good shape here. Make sure the sign is lined up, the fire hydrants lined up, and we're in pretty good shape. Okay, and then put that up to 100% and continue to do that with each one of the layers. Move it into position, resize it if I need to, but just by bringing that opacity down to 50%, lining up each one on top of the other so that exactly the same picture. And this one, for instance, needs to be resized just a bit. Get that fire hydrant right on top of the fire hydrant. There we go. Now, don't worry. Some of these aren't going to go all the way to the edge. We'll deal with that. Looking pretty good. And I'll do that with all four layers here. Looking at, again, fire hydrant. Street sign. Once I've done that with all four layers, then I just want to look for edges like this that go beyond the frame or within the frame, and I'll just crop those off. So I'm just going to crop off the excess. So these are all now the very same picture, no matter which I look at. Oh, we got a little more to crop off there. So no matter which layer I look at, they should look identical except for the trees, right? And once I've done that, I can output these pictures. I'm going to have four identical pictures except for the change in the weather. So with all the layers activated, I'm just going to go to File, Save for Web, and then set it for JPEG. Save it to, and I've created a folder called Finals, and I'm going to call this one Leaves 1. 
actually this is leaves four since it's the top layer there's leaves four we'll turn off layer number one we'll export this using file save for web we'll call this one leaves three and that's the way it's done so I've created four pictures that are identical that have exactly the same layout with the exception of the change in the weather I can lay these one on top of each other and use the transition between them and I'm just going to use a simple cross dissolve and my end result here will be again the perfect dissolve from one photo to the other each of them perfectly lined up so that I see the transition of leaves to no leaves That's the way it's done. Now, if you want to know more tricks and tips like this, check out all the tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know every single thing about how Photoshop Elements works, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at amazon.com. Why not pick up the moviepix.com guide to Premiere Elements also? I'm the author of both books. My name is Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again real soon.